Technology. We're proud of the uh, team that we have got operating internationally supporting our products and we're very pleased that our customers continue to use our technology and take it into more and more different applications. In Southeast Asia, some of the uh, military were some of the first to actually ever use our technology. So it's been a very important market for us in developing the technology and working with those, uh, those military uh, and uh, government agencies in developing the technology to where it is today. So we do have exports in Asia, but we certainly have a lot of exports globally around the world, but building on the success that we had very early in Southeast Asia. We have a now a new range of products. We're extending the fit of our solutions from very large perimeters, which we've been very successful, to much smaller perimeters. So now we can apply our fibre optic technology to perimeters much smaller than we could in the past. So that means that we can fit more of the market needs in terms of protecting sites and protecting infrastructure. I certainly know that we've got some great engineers and scientists and uh, they are developing some great technology and by making sure that we meet the needs of our customers through Asia, I know both of us can win. We can get great technology developed in Australia and we can obviously service the customers throughout Asia and meet their needs. The proximity is close, the support's very, very good and obviously there's a lot of trust between the, uh, the countries in the region so I think it's a win-win overall.